Derita, derita, derita. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? This is Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. So, in the video today, I'm going to be discussing my pharmacology class. Uh, I know most of the comments that I've gotten and a lot of the questions that I get emails from is a lot of students are really scared of pharmacology um, to start for didactic gear. And I have to say that I actually was very scared of pharmacology also before I started PA school. I know, and the thing is like I talked to some PA students before I started and they told me to worry about anatomy, but I was still really scared of pharmacology. and. Yeah, so I just want to discuss basically how is pharmacology in PA school. So, in my experience, now this is my school, I know s schools, different schools teach differently, but for my school, we had modules. So, like I've discussed in my previous videos, modules are basically about the, the system that you're going over. So, cardio you have your cardiovascular module where you learn about all the diseases, and treatments and drugs used for cardiovascular diseases. And then you have your respiratory module where you learn about all the diseases, respiratory diseases, and also um, pharmacology for it, for it uh, treatments, like for example, albuterol, etc. So that's what modules are. And my program set it up that for every module, you had your pathophysiology, your clinical medicine, and your pharmacology that matched the module you were going over. So during the cardiovascular one, your pharmacology would match with the clinical medicine. So they would all go together. And I thought this was really good in learning because um, when you're studying, everything goes up to par. And if you know the pathophysiology of the disease and you know what drug can treat it because you know the mode of action of the drug, um, what it does in the body, um, what tall receptors it attacks, etc. So that's how pharmacology was taught during my didactic year. Um, my pharmacology professor was amazing. Her slides were, her PowerPoints were very long. Unfortunately, uh, some of the PowerPoints were about 100 slides, 60, 70 slides, and she zoomed through them. So the class we had, the class time was about an hour and 15 minutes, and she was just zooming through, for example, the 100 slides, like boom, 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 boom. So it was sometimes really hard to keep up with her with that. And imagine when it comes down to exam time, Say if your module is about four weeks or three weeks and you have a hundred slides and you have that class three days a week. That's what, three times four? It's about 1200 slides you have to go through. So that's a lot of information. And thankfully, one of my classmates, um, she shared her table. So what she did is that she went through all the PowerPoints in class and then she made sure that she took information that the professor emphasized or she thought was important and she put it into tables. So tables, she put it into the drug name the drug classes, the mode of action of the drug classes, because usually if a drug is in within that drug class, they usually have the same mode of action. Um, the black box warning, and whether there was something specific for that specific drug within that class, whether that drug had a specific black box warning, for example, it was contraindicated in pregnancy, whether that drug had this, 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 etc. So if you have this information in a table, it's a lot easier to go through it and it's a lot easier to study versus going through a hundred slides and having that information just like all over the place. So my classmate was really amazing by doing this. I'll show you an example real quick of some of the tables that she made and she did this for every module and it's a great way to learn the information to be able to memorize the information because you're learning a lot of drugs and like people say during your didactic year, you're learning a lot of information in such a small amount of time. So that's why it's really important to be organized and to be able to study efficiently and productively because you can learn information, but if you're not retaining it, it's not going to help you on the exam. And I know I've said this many times and that's what happened to me my first semester. I studied all the time. I studied from 8 a.m. till 12 a.m. So my classmates would tell me, dude, like you study a lot and I don't understand why you don't do well in the exams. And the reason was because I wasn't studying efficiently. And that's why for pharmacology, you have to make sure you're studying efficiently. It is a hard class, but it is all about organization. Um, and also it's interesting because for pharmacology, 
it's like it is a foreign language because some of the drugs you don't you never heard of and it's really hard to memorize them how to spell them how to pronounce them their mode of action but if you see patterns and if your brain recognizes patterns then you're able to retain the information better so for example um let's see beta blockers so what are beta blockers beta blockers are usually used for heart and most of them end in the um lol so lol suffix so that's how i was able to see a drug and be like that's for a beta blocker so you have atenolol atenolol a-t-n-o-l-o-l metoprolol um etc so that's how i knew that drug was from that class because you're seeing patterns 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 so for example some of the questions my professor would ask she would give you a mode of action so she would say which one of these drugs blocks the beta blockers in your in your body system etc and she would give you a lot of drugs but if you saw one of them i would see hey this drug ends in lol so metoprolol for example it, this is a beta blocker and it's the only one from all of these that ends in lol so it has to be a beta blocker and that's how i was able to go through my exams um so patterns is really really important in regards to your pharmacology class in general guys it's something you really don't have to be scared of um i struggled a little bit with it but not that much i struggled more with anatomy and the only reason i struggled with it is because i just didn't force myself to study it because i was really scared of it but once you start organizing the information your professor presents in tables um, and being able to categorize, categorize the drugs, their mode of action, um, how the drugs look, how the drugs end in, then you're able to identify them faster and quicker. And if they do have specific mode of action, like some drugs are very specific and within that class, then just make sure that you do memorize. And it really is all about memorization, guys, for pharmacology. So yeah, that's just basically how my pharmacology class is. For those of you who are interested in how is pharmacology? Is it hard? It is difficult, but it's definitely doable. Memorization, understanding the information, being able to categorize the drugs into their drug classes, their mode of action, their black box warnings, being able to put them in um, tables, being able to see that information just in a broad, from like seeing it from a side and just see how it differentiates from other drugs or what's, what things are similar within that drug class in comparison to other drugs, etc. So yeah. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, any requests for videos for me to make, I'm sorry if I keep making videos about didactic year. I just finished my didactic year and I feel like that's a lot fresher in my mind um, in regards to tips. So that's why I want to share them, but I will be making more videos for pre-PAs who are interested for in applying to VA school, what to do, how to be a better applicant, etc. But if you have any feedback for me, if I talk too much, my videos are too long, please comment below. And if you have any questions that you don't want to ask in the comments, email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I know sometimes I do take a while. It's usually it's because I'm busy, um, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thanks for watching my videos and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.